Welcome to MMA Bay Radio. My name is Lee Hanish. I'm joined by Michael Pepper, Chris Greenman. I announce officially today that I've signed a fight. They gave me a list of names. Once again, my, my, oh, my constant adversary, Danny Bonaducci, was brought up. Jose Canseco was approached. Yeah. A list of amateurs, which personally, that just seemed wrong to beat up on a kid. Right, baby. And would you like to know the name that stuck, that pissed me off for reporters the most? This little pissant. Yeah, I bet I know. This little pissant named Aaron True. Pissant. <laughs> He's a pissant. He's claimed to change. He He's a pissant. I, one, I couldn't believe that he was nominated. Number two, his whole claim to fame is being, you know, a badly knockoff circus freak. Dude, I'm how we're pissed. Gonna, how, I'm how pissed. We're this together with. So I walked in to see Jeff to go sign my contract. Knock out Aaron True. No, dude, I'm not going to knock him out. I'm right. going to make him cry in the ring. And I'm not going to tap him. I'm yeah. not going to knock him out. I want him to cry. Right. He's a bitch. Right. He's already tapped. Why He's already he... been choked out. He's already been knocked out by people, Chris. I want him to cry physically in the ring. The Dude, I'm going to freaking work him. So you know what? Aaron True, you're in a pile of crap at this moment. So then I drove over to go see the Tough Enough people to sign my contract. There's an open name. I said, call Aaron True. He happened to know him. Aaron True signed. What a dipshit. He would have been luckier if I, I had signed with Bonaduce or Conseco or... Bob Sapp or somebody. Maybe I'm taking it because it's such Watch an easy fight. I'm not even going to train for this. I'm just going to work straight off of pure hatred and rage. He's going to be the whipping boy for everything that hurts inside me at this moment. Now, to, to Aaron True's defense, I've talked to him. He's a nice guy. Oh, no, dude. I know, but he's not afraid of you. So here's how it goes down, Michael Pepper. I'm walking yeah. into this building. I'm looking at this laundry list of names that the promoters and Chris put together. That's a pretty impressive list. I'm, I'm very impressed with you guys. Actually, I feel bad. You know what? I feel bad for Aaron True. I'm actually just making him a whipping boy for my life, Chris. March 12th. The date's been moved up. I don't want to wait, Michael Pepper. Shit, I want to be on the next fight card if they'd let me. Dude, I hate and I hurt so much. It's sick. It's sick. But what did Aaron True do? I mean, besides he didn't do anything. He's the just in the wrong place. Free- I got the biggest surprise coming on right now for you guys. No. Oh, yeah. It can't be the true. It's going to be the true, man. I'll quit. I'll quit, I'll quit reporting. I'll quit doing crazy. this. I will walk away from this forever. You'll walk away from MA forever. I'll walk away. Can I quote that? You can quote it. <laughs> I will quietly produce your show. This is <laughs> the three of you. You know what? Aaron can have my fucking job. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, this is Aaron True. You didn't even hesitate to take this fight at, uh, at Tough Enough. Um, what's, what's your thoughts on this? Have you ever been in an MMA fight? I've never even been in a real fight, let alone an MMA fight, but I'm friends with the people from Tough, and they said this guy, they said this really old, fat, out-of-shape bum who has a radio show. <laughs> they didn't know what the hell he did. They just said some fat, out-of-shape guy who doesn't know how to fight, who got his ass kicked by Danny Bonaduce, wants to do an MMA fight. And I begged, I called Barry, I called Jeff from Tough Enough, and I begged for like three days, and they were like, fine, we'll call him. <laughs> this is the one chance in my entire life ever, one chance ever, I can win a fight and get glory. It's the one chance to like jump up. <laughs> yeah, I saw that fight a hundred times, I watched all his strategy, and he has pretty good technical jab, he has a good technical jab, but he takes a punch like my four-year-old retarded sister, so... <laughs> I've never had my day. So when I saw that Al Bundy wannabe fat bastard online, Lee Hamish, I said, I want that fight. Give me that fight. <laughs> Outstanding <laughs> swagger, lad. Outstanding swagger. That's you got balls of steel. I'll give that to you. It's a bad day for I'll tell you one thing, though. After the fight, I want to give you a hug, and afterwards I want to be your friend. But up until the fight, I want every day, you know what I do? Every day I think about you and I jack off because I'm going to prison rape you, motherfucker. I'm going to prison rape you. <laughs> Away from everything. I've been doing this for close to five years. Been on CBS, NBC, stood in front of thousands of people at the San Diego Sports Arena to fight Danny Bonaducci and have to throw a fucking joke of a fight just so I could get notoriety. If I lose this fight, I'm going to walk away from it all. You can hang that on your fucking mantle. Well, I won't really... 
you know, because no one really knows who you are anyway, so you're not really hurting us. Oh, shit. <laughs> when I was at the MMA Awards uh, last week when I was nominated for MMA Journalist of the Year, I didn't really see you next to me nominated, but... Honestly, <laughs> no, I say, here's, here's the shit, Aaron. Straight up. Good luck to you. I hope you train really hard. I am in a personal space where I literally hate all of humanity, and you are my only focus. I wish this were shtick for the radio. I really wish it was. I think you got a set of balls on you big time. You remind me of me when I used to have a set of balls. You brought my balls back. But I'm going to hurt you real bad, bro. i got to be. I got to be honest. When when it? I'm going to hurt you real bad, dude. They offered me the fight against Lee Honest. I felt like I was one of those Make-A-Wish Foundation kids, and I just didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so smooth. Dude, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nominate you for Journalist of the Year next year for Fighters Only Magazine, dude. You're good, man. I like, I like it. I'm, I'm, where, where's, my, where's my Aaron True T-shirt? I'm going to wear one around, man. I, I like that. If Aaron yeah, knocks me man. out, I've said this. And it's already recorded, Pepper. I've said this. If Aaron knocks me out, KTFO, put me down, put me out, I will walk away from everything. I'm more fired up for this than Anderson Silva versus Vesel Belfort. Oh, dude, yeah, I'll take this any day over Anderson versus Belfort. Absolutely. I mean, Anderson's going to kill him. Aaron, man, hey, thanks for coming on, dude, on short notice. I had to get you on to give both sides of the story. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll be on again before the fight.